Black men, vulnerability is a strength. Hi, my name is Tad Peterson. You're tuned into Black Men Get You Some Therapy. Today's topic is high functioning depression. As men, when discussing high functioning depression, it's important to realize that it's not an actual clinical diagnosis. It's similar to depression. Simply think of it as masking your emotions. High functioning depression is depression, but it's difficult to detect because the person appears to be living life as normal in the eyes of others. Again, this depression is hard to detect because they could be thriving, they could be achieving, but inside they could be experiencing intense sadness, intense unworthiness, and in some cases even exhibit imposter syndrome. High functioning depression is common amongst many black men. Ways to identify high functioning depression varies. Some of the pieces that we've seen clinically, um, especially amongst black men, tend to be substance use or abuse, increased irritability, a decreased or increased appetite, oversleeping or not sleeping enough. It can be difficulty concentrating or focusing. It could be losing interest in things that once brought you joy. Ways to cope. If men are struggling with this, it's paramount for them to know that they are not alone. There's no shame in getting help. Actually, it's quite courageous and brave to admit that something's not working in your life. Being okay and acknowledging the depression is the first step. When it comes to seeking out supportive services or acknowledging that we're dealing with high functioning depression, that requires a level of vulnerability that's actually counterintuitive to the things that we've learned about being black men. As black men, we have to show up as put together, strong, secure, confident in our experiences, when in actuality, in many of our experiences, we don't have those feelings. We feel opposite instead. Vulnerability allows us to have to share. As black men, sometimes we really don't like to share our past hurts, our past feelings, our mistakes, our regrets, or our misfortunes. When it comes to asking for help, we have to actually acknowledge the barriers that exist. And some of those barriers tend to be the ways in which people respond to us when we do ask for it. I remember hearing things like, man up, you're not over this yet? This is no reason to cry. All of those things get in the way of us asking for help. Although it involves vulnerability, the high risk factor, it also has the reward factor of getting the help that you need. Black men, vulnerability is a strength. Being vulnerable is important because that's where the healing process begins.